So basically, our segmented students, I mean, our admitted students, it can be broken down into four groups. They're average, elsewhere, value seeker, and credit lover. Admitted students are being asked a series of questions toward um, different aspects of credit on scale one to five. One means poor, five means excellent. For the group average, they can have like rated Purdue uh, on average across, across all the questions. For elsewhere, they rated Purdue the lowest, which we assume that, oh, they're actually like, you know, just applying to Purdue as a backup. For value seekers, they rated Purdue high besides the um, areas of financial aid and affordability. And credit lover, they rated credit the highest compared to the other groups. So of course, we're targeting credit lover. But the question is, how? How did I get down to this group? So basically what I did, I did cluster analysis, and by looking at our survey data set, we can see there are like two types of questions. One is broad, and one is specific. So for broad questions, we can see like there's a core academic, academic environment, career preparation, social environment, physical environment, and affordability. So I put like all these um, broad categories into cluster analysis, and here's the result. These are the factors that drive people into different um, segments. So the most important one is career preparation, second, physical environment, and third, affordability. So basically, if we look into all these um, broad categories, they have like sub-questions within each one of them. So we take like career preparation as an example. We can see within that, there's career job opportunity, career alumni, and career intern. So what I did, I took all these nine specific questions and put them into a cluster analysis because I want to know what are the specific factors that drive people into different segments. And here's the result. The most important one is career job opportunity, second, career alumni, physical safety, and affordable financial aid. Knowing our target group is credit lover is good enough. Um, it's not good enough because what we want to know is that, all right, what are the key factors that differentiate credit lover from the other group? And also, we want to know what are their demographics make up. So here, basically what I did, I did a um, multinomial logic model by pulling out all people belong, um, all the credit lovers. And here are the key characteristics of credit lovers. First, they have lower math GPA. If we take a step back and think about it, that makes perfect sense because we're a business school. If people are um, higher in math like quartiles, where are they gonna be at? Engineering school. And second, they do care about um, scholarship. And here are the demographics of credit level. 50% of them are male, 50% of them are female. 35% of them are in-state student. Their, math, um, their average GPA quartile is 2.838. Math, 2.405, English, 2.706. 30% of them have legacy, less than 1% of them attend to Purdue for me and um, credit information section, and 50% of them did receive a merit scholarship. And one, one thing to um, highlight is that for the items that we highlighted here, they are the factors, they're statistically significant. So for example, if we look at Purdue for me, we can see that there's a positive side next to it which means that um, for a student that attends Purdue for me, there's going to be a positive impact whether that student is going to be likely to come to credit or not. And now I'd like to take a step further by putting up all these variables into a logic model to predict whether a student that has like these characteristics, whether they're going to come to credit or not. So for example, what if a student, um, he's not an in-state student, he doesn't have legacy, he didn't go to like uh, Purdue for me, and then attend credit information se section, the likelihood of this student coming to credit is 12%. <coughs> what if he's an in-state student? 32%. What if he's both in-state and has legacy? 47%. What if that student did attend Purdue for me and credit information section? That number is gonna jump up to 90%. So here's a key insight if we can get our credit lover to participate in Purdue for Me or credit information section and a target toward them, the right kind of marketing <coughs> message, for example, career job opportunity, career um, alumni, physical safety, and affordable financial aid, the likelihood of them coming to Purdue uh, to credit is going to be 90%. And now I'm going to pass on to Mary. She's going to talk about social media. <laughs> 